Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are here with another video. Today's video is about xerophytes. Xerophytes are plants that live in xeric conditions. Xeric conditions are basically high temperature, water deficiency, high wind and drought places. Let's discuss their morphological adaptations. Xerophytes are able to live in these kind of environments because they have special characteristics. You can see in the picture of cactus which has flashy stem with sunken stomata, spines, spines are basically reduced leaves and waxy cuticle. These all characteristics help xerophytes to retain water. Let's discuss the roots of xerophytes. Xerophytes have well-developed root system. They have a long and stout taproot which branches profusely. Root hairs are present and they are deep feeders. Roots go deep in soil in search of water. The shoot is generally hard and woody, mostly covered with hair, wax and silica. Stem is flashy and uh, the growth of xerophytes is stunted. You can see that these are succulent xerophytes with flashy stems. This stem stores water. We have an example of Opantia, Echinocactus and Euphorbia roilena. These stems are covered by spines or hair which are basically reduced leaves. Now, some of the xerophytes shows modified stem. You can see here Opantia. The stem is modified into a, a leaf-like structure known as phyloclade. And leaves are reduced into spines. This stem-like structure, phyloclade, basically stores water. Now in asparagus and ruscus, the leaves, there are leaves, but they are not true leaves. They are stem which are modified into a leaf-like structure. These modified leaf-like structure are called cladodes. Leaves are basically very reduced and they are scale leaves. Stem is modified into a leaf-like structure. Now, there are a lot of xerophytes which have fleshy leaves. Examples we have of aloe vera, agave, haworthia, bryophyllum, paperomia, and calonche. These all have fleshy leaves. Leaves of xerophytes have thick cuticle. Presence of thick cuticle reduces transpiration. In some xerophytes, leaves are reduced, and some xerophytes, leaves are flashy, and some xerophytes do not contain leaves at all. We have an example of prickly pear cactus, which is called Opantia. So the re leaves are reduced into spines, and these leaf-like structures are basically modified stems known as phyloclate. These morphological adaptations help xerophytes to conserve water and to live in xerophytic conditions. We have an example of marum grass here. As you can see the picture of marum grass, these are the transverse section of the leaf of marum grass. So marum grass has a thick cuticle, stomata sunken in pits, and leaves are rolled. Leaf hairs are present. These leaf hairs conserve water. They actually trap water particles so that concentration gradient doesn't develop and stomata do not open and loses water. These morphological adaptations are basically to retain water and to live in xerophytic conditions. 
These were some of the morphological adaptations of xerophytes. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot about xerophytes. Don't forget to like, comment and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.